and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Pike Path of Champions. Last week we uh, completed the first four adventures with Pike. We still have two more to go, Nautilus, Victor. That's our plans for today. We're going to do those two and then I'm planning on setting another world record with Caitlyn with the Caitlyn Prologue, um, but we'll talk about that later. All right, so our Pike is currently at level 11. Whenever we finished off the Zed uh, adventure last time, uh, we were just a few XP away or reputation points away from level 11 to get a rare relic slot. And so I just did an adventure real quick just to, to level it up. So we're going to be at level 11. We got our rare relic item. Deciding to go with that plus two, plus one uh, Caulfield's Warhammer again. I really like that one, um, especially with how we want to have Pike deal 15 damage to level up. So Pike will not only, like it already has um, the plus two, plus zero from like whenever you get, uh, you know, whenever you basically to start. So it's going to be a four, three. And then at level eight, our regular lurkers get plus one, plus one. So now it's a five, four, just baseline stats. And then we're going to have this relic item to give it plus two, plus one. So instead of being just a five, four, it's now going to be a seven, five baseline before any lurks, <laughs> you know, so we're going to begin that 15 damage pretty quickly. All right. Um, the other rare, you know, so, you know, looking at these, the other one that I was thinking about doing was this, the Scourge of Stash plunder. I cost two less because, you know, like we could have like a round one lurker, then we get the attack token round two, we attack with it round two, it hits them. We turn on plunder, we can cast our pike round two. Like that sounds pretty cool. And so like once we like level up pike to like, you know, level 22 and you get two items, I think I may use like one Caulfield's Warhammer and one the Scourge of Stash as the other one, just kind of looking through here. I feel like that's the best one besides that. Um, but yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments, those y'all watching later on YouTube, if there's any of these others that you think would be great for it. Of course, you can always just do two Caulfield's Warhammers like we did with Caitlin. That's good also. All right, but let's continue our adventure. Nautilus, you going down. They're going to go face Nautilus, so the foe's units all have tough. And let's see what our first power is going to be. All of our allies have Overwhelm. When you cast a spell, deal one. Nah, we don't need that. I think all of our allies having Overwhelm sounds pretty good. So we'll go ahead and take that. All right, let's uh, change our loadout away from Caitlyn over to our Pike loadout. Pike's got his own cool loadout. Um, I don't know which one of y'all I'm doing. I'm just going to do the tech tech minion. I like the minions. All right. Here we go. Nautilus Adventure. Okay. The beast below. All right. Aro says seasonals just ended and it was pretty hype. What happened? All right. I like, I like this and... You know, we could just keep Pike. I know, like, sometimes you want to put Pike back in to try to lurk the Pike, but man, Pike's just so powerful that I am very happy to keep Pike. Um, I don't really want to trade. I think we can take two. I'm okay with that. Ooh. Okay, so, you know, we got one common item on something, so it looks like the Sharkling got it. Has a pickaxe. Alright, well, in that case, go ahead and just play you. And play you. And really hoping we hit Lurk. I guess they can't. Okay, that thing can't block the Fearsomes anyway. Oh, we missed Lurk? Boo. There's only two cards in our deck that have us miss Lurk. Bone Skewer and... Uh, the 4-mana the card. There we go. Alright, you can block and... I guess I'll just take the other two. Alright, so the finals was Zed Poppy versus Timos Wayne. Timos Wayne player couldn't handle multiple Zeds and... Poppy. Yeah. That's... That sounds like the Zed Poppy I know. Now we must lurk again? So there's only two two cards in our whole deck that must lurk. Oh well. 
still lethal. And the once you get that first power, the pike deck really turns into being super powerful. Okay, so I don't want spells because spells don't hit lurk, right? Units do hit lurk though. I'll go ahead and take this unit. That's a perfectly fine unit, especially when it's two mana and then it's a four three overwhelm because we got the overwhelm. Okay, if we wanted to go for uh, keeping our nexus at thirty, we'd go for the Aphelios. That's a good one. Um, but I kind of want to just keep attacking and keep playing units and stuff. Let's play, let's get Riven, because you, Blade Squire, Rune Weaver, Riven, those are all units. Units are good. Boxtopus or Salvage. Um, the Devourer Depths is the more difficult one. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Boxtopus. See, I should, because see, I've played these and I, you know, I've gone to Boxtopus before. I should write down. You know, like what each one of these things does, so I have a, a better idea. But we'll just head on over to Salvage. Good morning, Tally Zoo. I really should spend some time and write each one of those down whenever I go go to them. We already got four regions. Okay, all units we can keep. Because remember, every single unit is a lurker in the deck. One one. I'll play a two two. Good old AI. I'm their one one attacking to a two two. Just get sacrificed. To serve the greater good. Not and ready. Finally, some action. Okay. I was gonna say, we're we still missing Lurk. Yeah, so this thing should have dealt an extra one point of damage to them, but didn't. I pass. Darn. Heart and blade, both broken. Look at that. Not bad. Shum the Waters. That's the name of the other one. So that's our other card that is not a lurker. A true Felgorian welcome. Hmm. I'll show the hunters. Man, we are pretty bad at not hitting Lurk. <laughs> There's only two cards, Bone Skewer and Chum the Waters, in the whole deck that don't have Lurk. And we've already missed Lurk three times. Okay. That's all we need to do. Uh, I don't know. It's like I, I could attack with the snow hair. It does. Or good block with the snow hair. I guess so. It doesn't do anything. kind of feel like leveling up Riven. And Overwhelm doesn't matter. <laughs> they all have Overwhelm. Alright, so we can just swing out. Do you get to kill my long tooth? But that's the cost of war. Okay. Took the thing with three health. I like it. Sharkling. 
card's big. Just keeping the peace. Take another three, go to 23. Nah, block here. Alright. Yeah, it's probably worth playing. You know, they could frostbite. Oh, or they could play something super big that blocks. All right, let's make sure. All right, so we're gonna make sure that we hit Lurk. Oh, that doesn't affect Riven? Oh, I guess since we put Riven back on top, then it, it got rid of the Lurk for Riven, I guess. Oh man, they're at one. This is suddenly not very good. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Pike decides to show up after the game's over. Thanks, Pike. This Nautilus battle is pretty difficult, you know, with everything having tough. Okay, so again, we're never we're never taking spells. We're only taking units. Um, I like this Vanguard First Blade. You know, you get two of them. Sure, why not? Okay, so take as many cards as you want. Each costs you one health. No, thank you. So that was the salvage. Okay, I'll probably forget that. Ooh, bigger picks. Okay, always buying a reroll token. <laughs> hey, hey, Ray Ray. Uh, Natra goes, Pike, you're fired. I'm sorry, you're late again. <laughs> I actually kind of like this picks, right? It's, sure, it starts out as a 0-4, but remember, it's going to be a lurker, so it's going to be growing. The power is going to be lurking, and then it's going to be able to give support ally, you know, make the support ally bigger. Sure, we'll buy, we'll buy some fixes. That sounds cool. Alright, this one's champion item. We'll go that route. It's towards the Scar Grounds. Ooh, Scar Grounds is scary. But I definitely like having one drops just in general, right? Because we want to be able to attack round one. Uh, for lurks. <clears throat> Especially if we have the attack token. Okay. I am going to send you back. And... Man, see, the thing is, is I don't like Bone Skewer, but I also don't like Bone Skewer in my deck because of, um, you know, if it's in the deck, then uh, then we may miss Lurk. So our deck has 26 cards, and only four of the cards miss Lurk, so we're like 22 out of 26. Doing good hidden lurk so far. Ooh, okay. So you're gonna be a five four. Mordecai. 
Yeah, we got <laughs> Hawk without tie. Just casual weekend stream. Demacia shall prevail. I came to fight. All right, is this gonna be lethal? Just you. So I'm down to six, so that answer is no. We miss Lurk again. I should have played this Chumble Waters also. Because there's only four cards in the deck that miss Lurk, and so that's the third. So now there's only one left out of the 20. Um... Wait, will this be a lurker then anymore? It may not be. Defend and protect. Is this down to 16? I'm okay with being at 16, I think. Need to, we need to get to like some healers so we can cut these spells because they're all so poor compared to the rest of the cards in our deck. And I would like to hit a pike, obviously. I'm really hoping to hit a pike, but hasn't been the case yet. But hopefully we're killing them this round. I would think we would be. I could use Bone Skewer to do more damage, but those two were lethal, so all good. Alright, still at 16. That's plenty of life. We're good. Especially if we don't get such bad Lurk luck. Alright, Fizz. Fizz, you are a Lurker. And the Black Rose Buy is kind of cool, though. But you are a Lurker, and you're super cheap. Champion item! So I can either do... Obviously they already have Overwhelm, so that doesn't matter. So we can either do plus zero, plus two, or tough. Like, that, those aren't really very good. Uh, when I'm summon, draw a card, or plus two, plus zero, I guess. When I'm summon, draw a card, I guess. I want to use an... I don't really want to use another reroll. Another plus two, plus zero? Alright, when I'm summon, draw a card. And obviously on the pike... All right, cut a spell. No. All right, reroll, cut a spell. Yes. All right, bone skewer out of here. All right, so now only two out of the thirty-two have us miss lurk. Just the two chum the waters. We better not be missing any lurk. <laughs> it's only two out of thirty-two now. Alright, all one drops. I like one drops. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna miss Lurk at the worst possible time. I believe you. Attack. They scared. <laughs> oh, wait, no! I think that was just gonna frostbite, and I was like, ah, the already has zero power. Ooh, they didn't trade. They're 2 2 for my 3 3. Oh, wrong one! Alright, playing too fast. Yeah. I was just like, I'll just take one point of damage and let you lull up your Sejuani for free. 
Demacia shall prevail. These old eyes still see far. Oh, that card's good. Look out for reefers. Light the signal fires. All right, down to four. We should be able to attack and do four damage. Whoops. There we go. All right, we hit lurk each time. So now that we've defeated Sejuani, we get to reset our Nexus health. Man, the pipe deck. Whenever you have, <laughs> when you have this power that everything's lurkers, it's really powerful. Okay, so either one of these. We'll take the scout thing. Scouts are probably pretty cool. We don't really have rerolls left, I don't think, right? Or maybe we have one reroll. Yeah, we have one reroll. Oh, man, these are not any good. Ah, all right, last reroll. Okay, round start. Grant the weakest ally plus one plus one. Or the weakest enemy vulnerable. It's one of these two. I don't... I don't really need, we don't need Enfeebling Strike in this deck. Um, definitely one of these two. I think I'm going to do this Battlefield Training. I don't think I really care if they're vulnerable or not. Alright, so this is Champion Item that way, but then this is Epic Item. Um, I like going for the Champion Item, really. I, I want to just buff up Pike more. Because I want more Pikes. We never draw Pike. Yay, Pike. Our Pike and Picks. Hey, Broccoli Sniper. No, I haven't had any problems connecting in the last few days. Nope. It doesn't want to connect for you? I don't know what that is. Maybe the old uninstall, reinstall? But I am sorry to hear that. I don't, I don't know the exact problem. Yeah, I'm not sure. Pike is huge. Imagine if we had Trifarian Light. So yeah, Mariah Warden made that Krusty Codger. Alright, you support you, and then you support yes, you. You get pulled over here. Alright, they're down to 10. Beefy Pike. Um, Alright. Oh, so they get to draw a card whenever they deal damage to us. And now they're going to be dead by a million. All right, so ever since we cut the Bone Skewer, we have hit Lurk every single time. So that levels up Pike. Now Pike strikes that 2-2. Now with the Overwhelm, they're dead by a million, or 33. <laughs> so this is all you need to do with Pike, is just get fill your deck with like one drops, make them all Lurk, and just be aggro. You know, it's a very aggro champ. Play I start a free attack? Absolutely. Start all the free attacks you want. 
champion item. Plus four, plus four, but cost two more? Oh, I don't want it to cost two more. The barrier doesn't matter, so I guess we'll just put another pickaxe on Pike. Reroll token. All right, anything good? Minus two cost for this thing? Okay. I'll take this thing being scout with three cost. Okay. Yeah, we'll buy that. All right, which way? So this is champion item again? Okay. I don't think I've ever gone towards this Jaw Hunters. I, like, always go this way. Yeah, I don't think I've really ever gone this way. So, new fight. It just seems like this Jaw Hunters does so much stuff. Uh, I just feel very confident in our deck, but it seems really scary. Like, this power that it has. Like this. This sounds really scary. If they summon a non-sea monster... Then they draw a card, they toss two, and all the sea monsters in their hand, the cost, you know, get cost reduction by one. Like, that sounds really scary. Alright, get out of here. First blade. I need more one drops. Not you, Bloodbait. Ooh, convenience. Just keeping the peace. <laughs> See, look at that. There's gonna be deep in no time. And now all their sea monsters in their hand cost one less mana. Wow, too scared to block. Unfortunately, you can only lurk once each round. Pikes are looking pretty beefy. Eleven five. Quick attack. Man, we can almost. Yeah, you know, by doing that, we can uh, almost make it fifteen on its own. I should probably buff up like that thing, though, so they don't kill that thing. Alright, that'll work. I guess it was lethal anyway. Kill round four lethal. <laughs> Second attack. Ooh, man, yeah, we got some good choices here. Riven with double power and health, or Fizz that's free, so we can play like double one drop, you know, we can play Fizz plus another one drop on one. I love the free cards, but, you know, double power and health, that's really good too. Oh, these are both great. I kind of think I want free Fizz. Yeah, our deck is no longer fair, that is true. I kind of think I want free Fizz. But that only saves one mana though. Alright, we'll do double power and health, it only saves one mana. When I'm summoned, I capture the strongest enemy. Okay, what do we have left? Okay, we have a... Alright, I'm thinking if we can use the reroll. Capturing the strongest enemy is usually pretty cool, but I don't know if we really need it. I kind of want to reroll. Start of the game, draw me if I'm not in your hand. I like that. Got a card? And they're all perfectly fine. I guess we'll heal. Alright, final, final boss. Not a list. So now we get to just start with Pike in our hand. So we know round four we got Pike. So we can even mulligan Pike away. You can just look for all of our ones and twos and Riven, because Riven has the double power and health. Uh, so we can mulligan you away. And just keep a bunch of ones, I guess. Blade Squire is just like our worst one, though. We'll send we'll send Blade Squire back. Oh, no, I forgot about Bloodbait. Never mind. There's a worse one that we have. Okay, there we go. Start with Pike. Get Pike, get Riven. We missed Lurk? Come on. Two cards out of 33. Man, I definitely would have cut 
the Chum the Waters if I could have, but Chum the Waters, only card. Only card in the whole deck. Yeah, you told me Mordecai whenever we'll miss Lurk when it matters. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. So now it's only a 6-8 instead of an 8-8, because we missed the Lurk. Alright, let's go with... I guess we could just go you there, like this. Yeah, we don't need to attack with that. Picks and Pike. <laughs> Alright, now Riven's gonna be bigger. Okay, so we're going to. What, we have Overwhelm there? Alright, we're gonna play you. I'm just gonna see what else we got. Alright, so we got the plus two, plus zero. So that means you're 10. No, 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 no! 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 Oh! Uh. I was going to level up Pike this round, right? So Pike's 10. Assuming we hit the Lurk, it's 11. Uh, I was going to play the Picks to make it 13, and then this Blade Fragment to make it 15. And so we're going to level up Pike right here. No! Well, that's a bummer. Oh, I forgot about your whole free attack thing. Ouch. Just attack. Instead of playing the picks and having the picks die. Look at that in a little bit, Ranto. See what you're saying there. I'm not sure. Okay. So we have ri another Riven in hand. I don't really need to play Chum Waters, I guess. We can probably just kill them. Okay. Let's see what we got. I don't have any more though. Give plus two plus zero one. All right, so we'll go quick attack, Riven, overwhelm this stupid five one. Plus two plus zero, overwhelm to the pike. Alright, so it's gonna make Pike 16. And then 16's lethal. They're at. Oh, they're at 17? Oh, they're at 18. Alright, still gonna be lethal though. Got to level up Pike in a one shot in the last battle. And there we go. Alright, so Pike. Verse Nautilus completed. This Pike deck is so good with that with that power. Everything lurker. All right, three hundred reputation. So now all that's left is Victor. How do we do? S health, S speed. Very good. Only a wealth. Oh. So we're going to have to replay that to get that S wealth. 
later on. But we got two S's, um, so not too bad. All right, so it's, so I think this is this is kind of showing you what to do with Pike, right? Like, uh, we we were able to cut the uh, bone skewer, but we still had to chum the water in. But just get lots of cheap units because with the lurkers you can just go super fast. Especially how we had overwhelm and everything that really helped. But those are the kind of keywords you want to find. Are like overwhelm, round start rally, uh, you know that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, good deck. Just lots of ones and twos, <laughs> and fill them all out with units. Because they're all lurkers. So that's the the Titan of the Depths completed. We will move on to face Victor up next. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know which champ you want to see next. You know, how are you liking these Path of Champion videos? Um, you know, if you want to see the more of the speed runs that we that we've been doing. Uh, right now, as far as the speed runs go, okay, so we're gonna get two re two additional rerolls for Victor. Very good. Uh, for the the speed runs, you know, we did Caitlyn before, and now we put up videos for Jace for all six champions, and we're about to have Pike with all six champions. And so these are the next two that I'm uh, kind of focusing on getting to level 22. Um, even though I think Zed's gonna be the fastest, but you know, we'll be able to compare our times with some different champions. Uh, in the speedrun category. All right, that's going to be it for Pike vs. Nautilus. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.